Okay, alright. So, hello, dears. Alright. So, again, another pre-recorded lecture. Yes, no man, coming your way. Okay, alright. Uh, and for this time, uh, this is the last part na good, of biochemical testing, uh, part 3. And yeah, the last topic good, for biochemical testing. Okay, and um, for this lecture, what we're going to talk about are the biochemical tests for your non-fermentative gram-negative bacilli. So, um, yeah, we'll discuss later. So, you may be thinking, mura ni siya sir, ang, na, ang bacteria na itong i-discuss, or mura ni siya tanan na biochemical tests. No, actually, daghan pag yun, like, you know, you have your um, other species, especially for mycobacterium, they have their own um, uh, biochemical tests sa mycobacterium. You have also, for your anaerobes, uh, daghan pa kayo na siyang biochemical tests. You also have other mga um, fastidious organisms, mga legionella, francisella, pasturella, mga inana. So, um, but why don't we why will not uh, but why are we not going to discuss them it's because in routine lab mangod these organisms if we isolate siya, we usually send them to ref, send them to reference laboratories for further testing because most of their tests mangod are done in kanana mga high end na mga labs na usually dili na ma, ma, ma fulfill sa routine lab okay so that's why ang atong gina discuss jud usually are kana jud isolate ra sa routine lab Okay, all right. Okay, um, and sa lecture, don't for, uh, don't worry. Uh, again, the best. Uh, si Ma'am Teddy explain pag niya other biochemical tests or other uh, identification foods sa ubang mga kagaw na wala to na mention here. Okay, and if you have other questions put also, I'll try my best to answer them. Okay, so just uh, DM, just chika. Okay, all right. And so for this part again, the biochemical tests for your non-fermentative gram-negative bacilli. Okay, so kinsa ni sila? Okay. So again, these can be gram neg or uh, bacilli or cocoa bacilli. They prefer to grow in an anaerobic environment. That's why they are called non-fermentative because again, they do not ferment. They oxidize usually because again, they love um, the aerobic environment. Okay, all right. Found in most environments, usually mga moist environments, uh, they account for about 15% of all gram neg bacilli isolated from clinical specimens. Um, actually, after enterobacteriasi, sila yun ang pinaka number one na gram nag bacilli na may encounter nyo in clinical specimens. Sila ni sunod. After enterobacteriasi, kani ang sunod na group of bacteria na ma-isolate ni mo. Usually in routine uh, lab. Okay? Na gram nag bacilli. Okay. And can withstand treatment with chlorhexidine and quats. So, kana nga mga disinfection. Okay. Now, uh, what are the general biochemical characteristics of your non-fermentative gram nag bacilli? Um, they again fail to acidify the OF medium, oxidation fermentation, na naay mineral oil. Because again, di ba, ang OF medium na naay mineral oil, it promotes anaerobic environment. Now again, recall your non-fermentative, they don't like an environment na walay oxygen. So ganaan sila naay oxygen. So therefore, dili nila ma-acidify ang sugar na naay dito if naay mineral oil. Because again, walay oxygen. So again, fail to acidify an OF medium. And fail to acidify your TSI butts. Because again, remember your TSI butts, they're anaerobic pod ang environment. So, wala dyan po yung oxygen. So, they don't like that. So, therefore, dili nila magamit ang sugar na naadid to because again, wala oxygen. Okay? So, two general characteristics. Fail to acidify the OF medium na naay uh, mineral oil and fail to acidify the TSI butts. Basta kan mga anaerobic environments, they don't like that. Okay? Alright, most again are oxidase positive but not all. Most are oxidase positive. And they are resistant to a variety of classes of antimicrobial agents such as aminoglycosides, etc., etc. So, na like innate resistance. Okay, so they are really resistant to these organisms, uh, to these antibiotics na daan. Uh, most of them also are motil. Okay, narayo ba na non-motil? Gamay ra kaayo. Okay, alright. Um, actually, this group, guys, is really large. Dagan kayong species, dagan po kayong mga organisms found here. Okay? Alright, so, example, this one, guys, this is a characteristic colony of Pseudomonas stutzeri, or stutzeri. Okay? Dry, wrinkled colonies. Uh, akong giapil because, again, nigawas ni sa board sa una daw. Not on our time, but mga way back. Um, gi describe ang colonies, dry, wrinkled colonies, non-fermentative, gram neg. It could be Pseudomonas stutzeri, or stutzeri. Next, uh, of course, very familiar, din siya milk tea. Okay, see? Chromobacterium violaceum. Yes, apil siya anina group. Gromobacterium violaceum. And last, we have this one. This is known as your, uh, this is Stenotrophomonas maltophilia. Um, ako siyang kapil because it has a lavender green or light purple na pigment sayang colonies, as you can see. 
All right? Stenotrophomonas maltophilia. For Chromobacterium viridaceum, violet good siya. Okay? Pero for Stenotrophomonas, as you can see, it could be lavender green to light purple. Okay? All right. Ayan. So we now go to this um, flow chart. As you can see, di ba naghan? Kayo sila. Okay, now, again, some of them are less commonly encountered, but some of them are frequently encountered. Good, like Pseudomonas, Asintobacter, di ba? Um, so we'll just try to go each, uh, no, go with them, you know, slowly. Okay, <laughs> all right. So again, when you say TSI agar, K over K, Makonki agar positive, meaning ni grow sila sa Makonki. And then, test for oxidase. If oxidase positive ba or oxidase negative. And these are the organisms that you can see. Okay? Alright? I don't require na may memorize. As in, wag ako na memorize ni. It's, it's too many. Okay? And the other part of the flow chart, di ba, na na siya kataas. Ako na siyang gibulag. Pwede siya ma-ego in one slide. So, if negative siya sa makonki, meaning wala siya ni tubo, or dili siya lactose fermenting, okay? Uh, positive, test up for oxidase. And these are the possible organisms na pwede niyo ma-isolate. Okay? Alright. So, in a nutshell, summary na siya of the tests. But again, to really identify or um, definitely identify them, of course, there are specific tests for each species. Okay? All right. Ayan. So we now go again first in the oxidation fermentation test. As mentioned, di ba? Ang purpose lang, Jude, ay ng oxidation fermentation is we detect the ability of the organism to utilize any single sugar, glucose, fructose, lactose, ba? Under an anaerobic environment and under aerobic uh, environment, either fermentation or oxidation. Now, in the case of your oxidizers, di ba, remember, um, your oxidizers, asa man ilahang uh, result ani? It's, of course, number two. Dili nila ma-acidify ang naay, um, mineral oil because, again, this is an anaerobic environment. And this is ana, they like the aerobic environment. So, sa mo yellow ra siya sa aerobic environment. True enough, kabantay mo, ang yellow ra good is wala na naabot diri, di ba? Kutub siya sa taas. Because, again, Diri ra ang naay daghang oxygen sa ubos wala na, de ba? So munang wala nila na yellow tanan, de ba? Diri ra sa taas because again they they love um, the oxygen or they need oxygen because again they're oxidizers, okay? So ilahang result is number 2 sa OF test, okay? All right. Next we go now to the specific tests na usually gamay ra nangita ko other tests unsa paman. And duha ra ako nakita initially first to Dumonas ni siya, erogenosa. And the first one is acetamide utilization. It's quite the same principle with citrate utilization sa ato ang Enterobacteriaceae, but this time atong gamiton is acetamide. Okay? And ang indicator is still the same bromphenol blue, and ang principle acetamide in the presence of the enzyme um, acyl amidase, it converts acetamide to ammonia and this ammonia is promotes the alkaline pH munang um, the resulting color is still Prussian blue. Alright, so here's the result. Still the same again, uh, positive Prussian blue, negative is color green. So same like siya with your citrate utilization uh, principle sa atong Enterobacteriaceae. Okay, but this time, ang ginamit lang na, na substrate is acetamide. Okay, alright. And last, uh, next is your growth on cetrimide agar. Now, this is a very special or specific yun na set na agar for specifically used for Pseudomonas aeruginosa from contaminated specimens. Why? Because your cetrimide is considered to be a toxic substance to other organisms. Why? Because again, in the presence of cetrimide in your agar, it releases nitrogen and phosphorus, which slowly kills or slowly inhibits the growth of the organism. So therefore, it inhibits the organism uh, uh, to grow on this agar, except for P. aeruginosa because it's resistant to Cetrimide. So that's why it's used Jude, for the isolation of Pseudomonas aeruginosa because, again, it can resist cetrimide. Okay? Alright. So, ayan. So, the positive result ragyud is growth. Any type of growth was an colonies na mutubo. And negative is no growth. Ayan. So, as you can see, muni ang growth, guys. So, it's a slant, diba? Compared naman anina smooth, walay tubo. Kani, guys, muni siya ang tubo. So, therefore, again, a positive ana is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Why? Because it, it can resist cetrimide, which is toxic to other organisms. Okay? Alright. Next, ayan. So, we'll now go to the mga biochemical results. Summary na lang yun. Okay? Alright. So, we'll start first with some select Pseudomonas species. Okay? And a good one is for Pseudomonas aeruginosa, start with Pseudomonas aeruginosa yun because again, it's very, very um, popular. It's my unknown sa ako ang third year po. Yes, diba? And again, kapila na ako gimension, diba? It releases the pigment. Uh, pyocyanin and pyoverdin, mo combine sila together the eye to produce the blue-green pigment niya na very popular. Alright? And very characteristic, another specific characteristic yun niya, guys, is 
growth at 42 degrees Celsius, guys. Please, please remember, de ba? It differentiates them from the other pseudomonas because your pseudomonas species they are dis, uh, distributed into two major groups: the fluorescent and the non-fluorescent. Okay. So your pseudomonas aeruginosa, kaning first three, it's part of the fluorescent, meaning mu fluori sila. Mu, mu emit sila fluorescence, okay? And P. stutzeri is one of the members of non-fluorescent uh, group. Now, how do we differentiate P. aeruginosa from the rest of the um, fluorescent group? Look at 42 degrees Celsius. Mutubo, siya rajay mutubo, so other, uh, compared to other fluorescent, fluoresc uh, other fluorescent pseudomonad group or species, okay? Alright, 42 degrees Celsius, and sa paman. Yeah, mura gina siya. And nitrate reduction, P. aeruginosa and P. Put stutzeri or stutzeri. Okay, please take note. Nigawa sa boards, P. stutzeri, wrinkled colonies, dry wrinkled colonies. Okay, all right. And P. aeruginosa, please take note sa to ato mga um, palatandaan ni P. aeruginosa. It releases the pigments, uh, major good is pio verdine and pio cyanine plus pio cyanine. Okay, now, um, ang other two fluorescent groups daw, guys, at 42 degrees Celsius, dili na i release ang pio cyanine. Or wala pigment na ma-release ng pyocyanin. That's why, karakteristik po na ni P. aeruginosa ng pyocyanin releasing pigment or releasing the pigment pyocyanin at 42 degrees Celsius. And, um, ito pa ni, pyoverdine, pyocyanin. Di ba na po yung other um, pigments? Some strains of Pseudomonas aeruginosa also produce other pigments. Di ba? You have pyorubin. Di ba? Pyorubin. If red. And pyomelanin kung brown. Okay? All right. Ayan. Ganun sa ito yung karakteristik odor gani, grape-like or corn tortilla. Okay? Because again, due to what uh, substance? To amino acetophenone. Ayan. Paulit-ulit na. To amino acetophenone. Karakteristik odor sa pseudomonas. Grape-like or corn tortilla odor. Okay. Next. Unsa na mga diseases ang ginakos sa P. aeruginosa? You have the jacuzzi, oh, di ba? Jacuzzi hot, hot tub syndrome. Um, syndrome, yes. Uh, unsa pa man eh? Uh, businessman, uh, businessman syndrome. Yeah, inana. Because again, as you can see, jacuzzi hot tub businessman, di ba? Usually mga datuon na nang maka-afford, ana. So, businessman. Okay, mga inana. Alright, mga ear infections. Uh, yeah, that's for pseudomonas aeruginosa. Okay, very again, Next to Enterobacteriazi, guys, siya ang second na ma-isolate na gram neg bacilli in your um, um, in your in your routine lab. After Enterobacteriazi, number one ang Enterobacteriazi, number two ang Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Siya ang tough two. Okay. And Pseudomonas aeruginosa again, um, uh, one, it's the most common, most common uh, cause of complications. Okay in patients with cystic fibrosis. Ayan. Okay. So, basta gani cystic fibrosis na mga complications, uh, the most common cause yun, Anna, is pseudomonas aeruginosa. Okay? Alright. Cystic fibrosis patients. Alright. Ayan. So, mga nice to know. Mga kailangan ma-remember. But again, this will be further elaborated sa lecture ni Ma'am Teddy. So, di mag -uul. Okay. Alright. Ayan. So, that's for the pseudomonas species. Next, we also have the Burkholderia species. Now, for your test, magusa Burkholderia, it's still quite the same. Um, but your Burkholderia species also are part of the non-fermentative gram neg bacilli. And quite the same puts lag homology da with the pseudomonas. Okay? Alright, but we have three or actually four major na species. Parang napila na ko is ang tulo. First is your Burkholderia cepacea complex. Please take note, it's arginine dihydrolase negative. Burkholderia malay, uh, shara negative at 42 degrees Celsius. Okay? And uh, Burkholderia pseudomalay. So as you can see, medyo same, same sila og results. Pero ang difference na good is ang 42 degrees Celsius. Negative ang Burkholderia malay, positive ang Burkholderia, Burkholderia pseudomalay. Dili siya tama, malay siya. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mark, may galing mo mga jokes. Ambot na lang. Okay, alright, ayan. So again, these are the three major species. And we also have one Burkholderia gladioli. Onya. Okay, but for Burkhold Burkholderia malay, it, it's known to cause your glanders disease. Usually sa horses and sa humans. Pulmonary involvement or pwede pong sa wounds. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. 
And it's a potential bioterrorism agent because pwede siyang matransmit through air. Okay, or aerosol ang transmission. Alright? Burkholderia malay, glanders disease. Okay. Burkholderia pseudomalay. When you say pseudo, it's not really true. So, mara siya nagpakamalay. <laughs> Alright? Pseudomalay, it causes melioidosis or your Vietnamese time bomb. Ayan. Melioidosis or Vietnamese time bomb. Glanders-like disease. Okay. Why? Because again, this can be... Um, Makuha daw siya sa mga puddy or sa mga muddy, muddy soils sa Vietnam and Thailand, so Southeast Asia. Pwede po daw sa ubang areas sa America ba to? And sa Africa, something. So, muna siyang Vietnamese time bomb, time bomb, melioidosis. Okay? Alright. And glanders-like disease. Uh, and also, for Burkholderia pseudomalay, guys, we have a special medium known as your ashdown. Okay? Ashdown. Dilinin yung classmate na si ash. Char. Ashdown medium. Okay? Uh, and with cholestine, okay, in this medium, ang B, mal, ang B pseudomalay is deep pink, okay, deep pink colonies wrinkled, okay, alright, ayan, deep pink colonies na wrinkled, on ash down medium, okay, and then gram staining, si B pseudomalay, gram stainia, GS, bipolar staining, so when you say bipolar, um, Muna siya, di ba, basilay, kanirang ends ang mas stain. Muna siya safety pin. Okay? Then, na ay halo sa tunga. Bipolar staining. GS bipolar staining. Wala po na ako na-mention, guys. This, this bipolar staining pod is characteristic of... Ah, my God. Google. Bipolar staining. Bipolar staining. Yersinia pestis. Okay? Yersinia pestis. Safety pin. Okay, safety pin, appearance in Wason stain. Okay, please take note. Safety pin appearance, because again, same. Ang ends ra ang mas stain, okay? And then ang tunga kay hollow or maragwalay stain. Muna siya bipolar staining, okay? For gram stain, bipolar staining, burkholderia sudumali. For Wason stain, safety pin appearance or bipolar staining, kinsa? Your sinia pestis, okay, the causative agent of your black plague or your plague bacillus, okay, all right, ayan, so mga nice to know, pa rin. okay, nice to know, okay, all right, next we have your uh, Burkholderia gladioli, again, the other species, oxidase negative, share oxidase negative sa Burkholderia species, the rest are oxidase positive, and it's a plant pathogen usually, and seldom encountered or ma isolate from clinical specimens, okay, Burkholderia cepacea, guys. Nado siya earth-like, okay? Earth-like or dirty odors. Amoy lupa. <laughs> and I think nigo is sa boards. Um, it causes the onion bulb rot, okay? So ni rot ang onion bulb. So as you can see, sepatia, di ba? Onion is allium sepa, huh? di ba? So sepatia. So all onion bulb rot and pwede po daw foot rot in humans. Foot rot in humans. Okay, so ni rot imuhang foot. Okay. Burkholderia cepatia, earth-like or dirty odor. Amoy lupa. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ayan. Okay. And um, that's it so far for Burkholderia species. As you can see, medyo ano lang. Uh, run through a good. Uh, gamay lang na test to isolate. And their diseases. Okay. Again, further elaboration and as a lecture, hopefully. But again, now at least kabalo na mo. Uh, initial na mga um, description sa kagaw. Okay. And last, uh, biochemical results of other organisms na um, non-fermentative uh, gram neg bacilli. Okay? Okay, now for the biochemical results of other organisms that are very much clinically relevant um, in the routine lab and really ma-isolate po siya sige ng mga non-fermentative gram negative bacilli. Okay, so we'll start first with your acinetobacter species. As you can see, um, it's non-motil. Okay? Uh, always take note, acinetobacter. And I mentioned ba sa gram stain? They tend to resist the colorization. That is why pwede siya mistaken as gram-positive. And because of its shape, di ba, mentioned it's a plump coco bacilli, right? Plump coco bacilli na gram-neg pag yun. Uh, so pwede siya mistaken as Neisseria species, remember? Okay. Alright, so Acinetobacter baumanii. Now, remember, um, <clears throat> you have major two species, alright? Si baumanii and wolfii. I'm not sure how to pronounce. <laughs> Can I L? So I think it's silent L. So wolfii, alright? And usually same, same slag results, but please take note, ang um, Acinetobacter baumanii grows well at 42 degrees Celsius. And usually, um, sa Bailey and Scott's, ang Acinetobacter baumanii is considered to be the saccharolytic 
um, saccharolytic na acinetobacter and acinetobacter wolfii is the asaccharolytic okay that is why because of its um, saccharolytic tendencies acinetobacter baumannii ay pwede siyang mistaken as a lactose fermenter or lactose fermenting siya sa yung maconkey agar okay all right but it's usually daw it's non lactose fermenter yun ay mong acinetobacter baumannii but again because of its saccharolytic tendencies pwede siyang mistaken as a lactose fermenter okay acinetobacter baumannii and acinetobacter elbofii now next to pseudomonas aeruginosa muni siyang ika third na ma-isolate ang acinetobacter species they're the third to third gram negative bacilli na ma-isolate from clinical specimens third okay second ang pseudomonas aeruginosa third ang acinetobacter species okay and ang fourth ana is your stenotrophomonas maltophilia okay so stenotrophomonas maltophilia Characteristic lang yun niya, it's motil, okay, and DNA is positive. Ayan, DNA is positive and ONPG positive. Uh, characteristic yun niya is DNA is positive. That's what I recall just sa stenotrophomonas. It's DNA is positive. Now, please take note sa yung enterobacteriaceae, guys. There are also another organism na DNA is positive, and that is Seresha uh, marcescens. Okay? Seresh, Seresha. Uh, Seresha marcescens is considered to be triple enzyme positive triple enzyme positive because it's positive for uh, DNAs it's positive for um, gelatinase okay and I'm not sure lang if shaktin yung usab but it's positive for lipase also okay so it's a triple enzyme positive organism okay ra. okay alright Okay, so it's a triple enzyme. Positive organism, Seresha marcescens. Okay, DNAs, lipase, and gelatinase positive, Seresha marcescens. Sa imuhang enterobacteriaceae na siya. But again, Stelontrophomonas maltophilia, it's DNAs positive. Characteristic yun, DNAs positive. Okay, next, Alcaligenes fecalis. Again, another organism na pwede ni mong um, very important po. It's oxidase positive. So usually, um, pwede ni mong ma... ma right, to differentiate acinetobacter and alkaligenes, kaya pwede siyang, um, usually sa mga case studies daw or sa real setting po, pwede siyang ma-isolate together or malibog mo together sa alkaligenes fecalis. Always take note lang na it's oxidase positive and motil ang alkaligenes. Whereas ang acinetobacter, it's oxidase neg and non-motil. Okay? Alright. Ayan. Next, we have Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica. Very, I love the name so much, no? But Elizabeth, eh, Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica I, is um, named, I, it's, okay, it's uh, Criseo Bacterium Meningo Septicum before, okay? Alright, Criseo Bacterium Meningo Septicum before, okay? Criseo Bacterium Meningo Septicum yung old name, but karon it's Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica. Elizabeth Kingia, because it's named after Elizabeth uh, O. King, which is, uh, who is a bacteriologist now at CDC. And he was, she was studying this or, uh, organism uh, very much now. Okay, so munang, um, it was named after her na, di ba? So, I think muna na akong goal sa life, muna ay kagaw na name after me. Marco Cos. <laughs> anyway, alright, so again, Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica. Other uh, old name is Criseo Bacterium Meningo Septico. Now, this organism is known to produce also a yellow pigment. Okay, yellow pigment uh, known as flavin. Okay, flavin. Okay, alright, so again, Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica. Unsi mga characteristic niya? Oxidase positive, indole positive. As you can see, Sharay indole positive, ani na group. Okay, so indole positive, Elizabeth Kingia, Meningo Septica. And it's non-motil, and together with Stenotrophomonas, it's, uh, it's DNA is positive. Okay, alright, ayan. So Elizabeth Kingia, Meningo Septica. Okay, alright. Next, we have Oligella ureolitica. Again, still the same mga less frequently encountered na na mga organism. But ureolitica, again, I think um, sa Oligella na... na na genus, siya ang pinaka-common na ma-isolate. Okay? Alright. So, ang characteristic? Oxidase positive, motil. Usually, mura yung um, biochemical results. And last one is Shiwanella putrefaciens. Okay? So, ako siyang gi-appeal because sa ganyang characteristic, it's motil. DNA is positive pag yun siya and siya ang H2S positive here. Okay? So, muna siyang 
pwede siyang mistaken as an enterobacteriaceae. Because again, remember, there are a lot of H2S producers in our enterobacteriaceae or our enterics, remember? So pwede siyang mistaken as enterobacteriaceae. But please take note, Chiwanella putrefaciens is oxidase positive. Dara palang daan, pwede ni mo siyang ma-isolate. Okay? Basta ganyan, oxidase positive niya, H2S producer pag yun, then that could be Chiwanella putrefaciens. Because again, enterobacteriaceae are oxidase negative. Ayan. So, sa oxidase palang daan, makabalo na kakinsa. Okay? And please take note, very characteristic niya, no? Characteristic niya, H2S producer. Siya rag yun ang positive, di ba? Okay. Alright. Now, for some other notes, for some other organisms, Stenotrophomonas maltophilia again, by the name itself, maltophilia. Philia loving malto. So, loving maltose lover. So, it's a strong oxidizer of maltose. And, unsa hiyang odor? Ammonia-like odor. Okay? Stenotrophomonas maltophilia. Next, Chromobacterium violaceum, as mentioned na asya ganina. Appeal po siya sa mga non-fermentative. It's ADH positive. Arginine dihydrolase positive. It's also uh, S. Esculin positive, I think. Esculin hydrolysis positive. Uh, Esculin hydrolysis positive. And, um, yeah, mo, I think more ako remember pa for now. Okay, esculin hydrolysis positive. Ammonium cyanide. Please take note, don't, for, don't be confused with ammonia-like and ammonium cyanide. So, those are two different things. Ammonia-like, stenotrophomonas. Ammonium cyanide, it's chromobacterium violaceum. And, of course, sanganan plan niya, violet pigment. Uh, known as your violacine. Okay, violacine. Alright. Okay, so again, that's uh, for chromobacterium, violacium. Next, you have Criseobacterium SPP, which is again, kung asagi ka ng Elizabeth King ya sa una. It produces a yellow pigment na mo turn daw red upon the addition of 20% KOH. And this pigment is known as flexirubin. Okay, flexirubin. Criseobacterium species, kung asagi ka ng Elizabeth King ya, meningo septica before. Okay, alright. And alkaligenous fecalis, as mentioned, diba? Fruity odor, na mention na, resembling pede apples or strawberries daw. Wow, ang bango. Yes. So, kung nakai colonies or nakai culture na, it smells like apples or strawberries, then that could be alkaligenous fecalis. And the last one is Roshomonas, which is still part of the non-fermentative. Again, less encountered na mga kagao or like less encountered in clinical specimens, but can be still uh, clinically relevant, okay? So, Rosh Roshomonas lang, ang characteristic niya is the most common, pink. Ayan, pink pigmented na colonies recovered in uh, clinical laboratory. So, pigment, pink, pink pigmented, most common. Pink pigmented, gram-neg, non-fermentative bacillus recovered in clinical laboratories. It's your Roshomonas SPP. So, marasyag, but the name is of the word, rose. Okay, so pink, ayan, rose, rose, Roshomonas SPP. Okay. And lastly, Elizabeth King, gaday, guys, lang ako na-mention ganina. It's really common among uh, meningitis, okay? Meningitis and uh, septicemia, okay? Um, among newborns, especially those daw na premature or na ay prematurity, okay? So, muna ang common disease presentation sa mong Elizabeth Kingia, meningo septica. Na nasa ngalan, meningo, so meningitis, septica, septi, septicemia, again, asa ni newborns, especially those daw na premature or with prematurity. Okay? That's for Elizabeth Kingia Meningo Septica. Okay, alright. So basically, guys, um, that's all for our non-fermentative gram neg bacilli. Although, um, again, only very straightforward na mga biochemical results. Uh, most of the biochemical results na mentioned, na discuss na to sa itong previous biochemical uh, uh, lectures, especially katong mga enterobacteriaceae na tests. Okay? Alright, so... This is the end, good. Drin lang yung takutob tanan sa biochemical testing. So, that's very like a, a long topic, good. Pilah taka weeks nag devote ani. But again, one of the most important, good, na, you know, basics and fundamentals in bacteriology. Because, because again, it's through these tests that we get to identify them. Okay? In routine lab, again, we still rely on biochemical testing to really identify them. Okay? Especially in routine lab. But again, there are now more sophisticated, more accurate, more advanced methods of identifying them usually molecular of in nature okay or mga ya PCR and all that mostly mas specific and accurate okay but in routine lab usually wala di mo employ ana because again those are costly it it needs you know um, uh, a lot of demand in terms sa imuhang workforce kailan pa sila mo training and ana and ana so again most of them uh, if not all rely pag yun, routine labs to biochemical testing okay so i do hope guys na nakasabot ra mo I do hope na 
wala ra mo ka nag-develop ra og heat or um kalagot sa bakte because again um it's these tests that made me love them okay all right um i know it's too much to um in, take in good I, I know it's it's too much samot na ako ina napugo sa third year like wala ka sabot like ha unsa ni unsa ni but again try to try lang to um the key to mastering the biochemical results is to just look at each organism and then look at its specific na characteristics good look a point good una to mga um kato jung characteristics na makayong ka na sa good like iya hagud na like wala jo ilain ba ina na na kana jung iya hagud and then after you ma master to work away work around na po the other or other characteristics niya like other less important tests na but focus more on kato jung mga tests na maka identify ka na iya hagud to okay so i master sa to and then after na po work around kato mga other tests okay all right so I do hope, guys. Yes, uh, in a way, nakatabang ko or nakakexplain na nako, na explain na nako well, and then narapun mo na learn, okay, from me. So again, if you have any questions, uh, again, just feel free to chat and sa group chat nato. And if na may other questions outside of biochemical testing or like other bacteria na wala nato na mention, then I'll try my best to answer them po. Okay, so again, thank you, dears. Have 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 a great day, good, and keep safe. All right. Okay. See you on our next pre-recorded lecture.